Warning, the content in this podcast may help you get fit. Your discretion is advised. If you haven't been able to reach your fitness goal, it could be because you keep running into fitness scams, misconceptions, and gimmicks. Finally learn the way and get fit with the Real Results No Gimmicks podcast hosted by body transformation experts Fitness with Flex and Fitness with Flex Hers. Welcome guys to the 40th episode of the Real Results No Gimmicks podcast. We're your host Fitness with Flex and Fitness with Flex Hers and we're body transformation experts. Many of you may know us from our clients' amazing transformations from all over the United States and all over the world. And in this episode, we're going to give you six strategies to help you stay on track while eating out. Yep, not everybody thinks about what's going to happen when you go out and the temptation is real. You know, many people are starting their New Year fitness resolution around this time. And it's only been about, what, like about seven days or so since the new year has started. So many of you guys are beginners. And this information is going to be good even if you're more advanced. These are tips that you could take with you forever because at some point in time, you're probably still going to try to lose some type of body fat to get leaner or something like that. But... This is mainly for that person that is just starting out right now. And, you know, the events, you you guys just finished coming from like two weeks of crazy holidays, Christmas and all this stuff. And also the New Year's where a lot of food was eaten, a lot of alcohol was consumed. And these are going to be six tips that are going to help you the next time something like this happens. For sure. And on top of that, for those of you out there that have been able to now master how to be consistent on a healthy diet while being at home now we have to tackle how to master when we have to go out for dinner or there's a birthday party or a wedding or something like that so that way you can maintain a fit body for the rest of your life yeah like you can stay disciplined at home but at some point in time you're gonna have to to face (laughs) yeah you're gonna have to leave at some point in time so Let's see. So tip number one is going to be maybe you don't have to go out. Maybe if, (laughs) (laughs) you know, maybe if you're the one who wants to go out and you're in the mood for something like pizza or something Mm -hmm. like that, maybe you try to make it at home with better, healthier ingredients. Mm -hmm. You know a little bit about cooking in the kitchen, right? With the ebook that you came out with. So you can finish this one. As you start to follow a healthier meal plan, you start to really appreciate cooking good things at home. I can't express enough how good it feels sometimes after I'm done cooking. I'm like, damn, I made this? Like, I can eat this worry-free. I know exactly what ingredients I put into it. I know exactly what it's going to do to my body. And for those of you out there that feel like, okay, well, you know, I'm motivated to cook at home, but what the hell do I cook? No worries here, guys, because I came out with a book called From Junk Food to Good Food, where I get people's favorite cheat meals and I turn them into a healthier alternative. So this is food that not only is going to be healthier for you, but you can look forward to when you're eating at home. Yeah, so like give them like an example of maybe like if they wanted to have pizza, what what what, what how would they would be able to do a better version of that at home? Well, then you got the cauliflower pizza. So instead of breading, you're going to use cauliflower. And you can actually head over to our YouTube channel where I give you the whole recipe for free and I show you exactly how to make it. Well, there you go, guys. Shameless <laughs> plug, but in, re- in her reality, is, is the truth you want to be able to swap those bad ingredients for healthy ingredients and if you guys have a good option out there this this is the way to go now if you guys don't have the option of staying home and let's say you do have to go to an event a friend's birthday party or whatever it is another option you guys could do is make sure you eat before you get to the place now you guys could imagine how hard it is to go food shopping when you're on an empty stomach. They always tell you never go food shopping when you're on an empty stomach because you're going to want to buy everything that you're not supposed to eat. So the same thing goes for when you go out to eat. If you get there starving, all hell's going to break loose. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) Your eyes are hungry. Everything's hungry in your body and you're going to order a whole bunch of stuff or... Maybe you have strong willpower, but you know what? It might make you 
break a little bit or you might be tempted to pick at something you know it just becomes harder it's just harder on yourself when you go to a restaurant and you're massively hungry especially if you don't know that they're healthier options yeah i mean the only way you're gonna survive this is to try to put yourself in the best situation so if you know maybe it's your favorite restaurant or something like that that you have no option other option of going to because your friend also likes that restaurant or something like that then, you know, you eat your, a meal at home, a healthy meal at home, and now when you get to the restaurant, you're not going to be as super hungry. You're going to mm -hmm. feel more content, and now you can make smarter choices when you're there. Because on an empty stomach, everyone gets crazy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you do have a choice of picking what restaurant you eat at, or your friend is allowing you to help them figure out where they should go eat, you should always be the one to give the place. Why? Because I want you guys to make sure you research where it is that you have healthier options and take them there. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea, right? <laughs> you have to remember, you have to put yourself in a position where you're going to win. You also have to remember that this is very similar from being kind of like a drug addict, right? You have to go to rehab because you have to be in an environment where you're not tempted, where you're surrounded by people who are going to motivate you, who are going to support you, who are going to feed you the things that you have to be fed, right? So it's the same thing. Put yourself in a position where you're surrounded by people that are going to make you, you know, have healthier options or a restaurant that allows you to make those healthier decisions so that way you don't sabotage yourself. Also, if let's say if you're going to go to a shitty ass restaurant where it's just crazy bad food or mm -hmm. whatever it is, or, you know, not the best restaurant in the world as, as far as health goes, as um, healthy meals and stuff like that, you know, maybe look up the menu before you get there. You know, now you're mentally prepared with exactly what it is mm -hmm. that they have and you could already start looking at the menu and start deciphering which is the best option there for you you know mm -hmm. now when you get there there's no looking at the menu there's nothing you already know oh, i'm gonna get this mm -hmm. you know it's a and lot there's easy. some menus that are really big and i know that this has happened to me where like you know the waiter doesn't do it intentionally but once they stand next to you you kind of feel that pressure of oh shit oh shit what am i gonna eat you know let me just pick this because you don't want that person waiting around for too long. So, like he said, in order to avoid that pressure, just make sure you already go prepared. All right, guys, and when we get back, we're going to give you some strategies that you can use at the actual place. So stay tuned for that. Learn the truth about fitness and start on the right path towards reaching your fitness goals today by subscribing to the Fitness with Flex YouTube channel. Learn great tips on diet, exercise, healthy recipes, and also check out our client challenges and interviews. And don't forget to visit fitnesswithflex.com. All right, guys, so we're going to give you the last three tips on what to do when you're at the restaurant. So a lot of people usually like to start off with a soup before their main course. Guys, try to stay away from those heavy soups that are filled with flour and all these other ingredients that are not going to allow you to lose body fat. Try to make better decisions when it comes to that as far as choosing a salad or maybe choosing a soup that's filled with vegetables and has like a chicken broth or a vegetable broth. Try to stay away from those heavy things. Now, if you would have eaten before you got to the restaurant, then you wouldn't need an appetizer or a starter dish because you're content and you can wait for your main course. Exactly. Now, another thing that's very big in a lot of restaurants is they usually come around with like a bread basket. I know in some restaurants we go to like a steakhouse or something like that, they'll come with bread for you to butter it up. And, you know, it tastes amazing. It's freshly <laughs> made. <and> it's warm. <laughs> You know, but to not give in to it, if you have the option, just say no to it. As soon as the waiter comes, I'm like, oh, and if you guys are bringing some bread, it's okay. I don't want anything. You know, once again, putting yourself in a position to win. You're not looking at the bread. If it's there, yes, yeah, so you could probably hold off. But why be in that situation? Mm -hmm. Just making it harder for yourself. And the last tip is to stay away from alcohol and try to make a better drinking decision. So usually when we go out to eat, we go for like the Diet Coke or like the Diet Soda, right? We're kind of living on the edge because we do want something fizzy. We do want something sweet. But again, it's diet, so it's not going to affect you 
as much. Try not to drink unless you need to be in a situation where you have to get tipsy. If it's a drink because you're having dinner and stuff like that, that's just going to add up calories on top of the fact that you might be mixing it with something really sugary and that's just going to make you gain unwanted body fat. It's going to put your body under stress when it doesn't need to be and again that's going to hold you back from reaching your fitness goal. So make a better drinking decision. And uh, here's a little extra tip. Just tell everybody you're on medication. <laughs> tell everybody, hey, look, I'm on antibiotics. I can't drink. And usually that'll get people off of your back. And now people are going to know that excuse when we go oh, out. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And that gets you closer to reaching your fitness goal. And stay tuned for our next episode. Thanks for listening to the Real Results No Gimmicks podcast. We really appreciate it. And if you like what you just heard, please feel free to share our episodes with your friends and visit our website, www.fitnesswithflex.com.